panoptic personalization panoptic means one should be able to get the full thing at one view of whatever the things i am looking at it so it can be for a customer the full view the full 360 degree view of that customer i should be able to get it so this involves not only what customer is buying from me but overall his uh, data related to what he buys what he sells what he reads what he you know uh, does in his free time in the leisure time if we know all those things then things can be offered in a way which are really personalized for that customer if we take a example here though this panoptic personalization is valid for all industries uh, be it a manufacturing sector or services company but uh, for the variety of the reason what has happened that many of these companies are and industries are having old legacy system it system so a uh, fresh blue sky thinking either it's not coming or it is getting constrained because of those it systems now panoptic personalization require one to really think uh, without any constraint and should be one should be able to offer the things to the customer which he really need and not what that segment of the customer offers because if we take example of bank also in the bank many time uh, customer get segmented into silver segment gold segment platinum segment and based on that certain product get offered and maybe for the customer who are high net worth individual hnis or ultra hnis their banks put a dedicated relationship manager or things like that who sometimes try to understand what that individual customer require or maybe the his family office require and try to provide that but uh, though this situation was sort of okay because that was the only thing possible when things were manual or in the initial it days when the automation was going on now things are very different now many more things can be done with technology and the main technology which i say is i name them asset technologies which is artificial intelligence cloud internet of thing and data uh, now the thing is that collection of data and of course you have to take the consent of the customers once you can collect that data from in, through various ways including uh, various smart variables or the transactions on the digital platform what he is doing that data can be collected it can be computed with the cloud uh, the power of the cloud uh, computing can be harnessed and with artificial intelligence a meaning can be arrived for that data what does it mean that data means so earlier many companies including banks or in manufacturing industry they they have classified the customer in segments now that is obsolete because customers include especially the gen z customers are asking a personalized product and remember the though you and me may have gone to the physical branch let's say if we take the example of banking industry so we may have gone to physical branch and then move to the internet banking so for that for us it was a wow thing but for the gen z they they are internet native smartphone native they started seeing the things on the smartphone so for them the concept of uh, going to the physical branch is little alien and they are already seeing some companies on social media and various through other uh, big giant who are able to offer a personalized product for them or personalized service to them so when a bank just stops at creating a good website and uh, put the customer in segment they get frustrated because they are getting a good treatment a personalized treatment a royal treatment uh, which caters to their need from other service provider so 
let's say that they are talking of the bank you now here then this is expecting ki yeah i may not be your most profitable customer i may not be spending but whatever our relationship is you really have to understand my requirement and then offer the product and not one size fit all uh, and off repeated example is that if a customer comes to the bank to take a housing loan so we it is said that he is looking for a is going to buy a house and housing loan is just one of the thing which he has to do it so bank should look at the full picture and i will say yeah this example is true but it now it little old that much anyhow bank has to do bank is still have to see uh, what other things uh, can be offered and why he is buying the house you know can bank help him in getting the other auxiliary services uh, starting with the insurance or the house decor or many other things uh, based on whatever the customer personality is or let me put a other that way example if uh, let's say if a person says that i you know a customer says that i like this movie so now that gives lot of data points related to that customer it means that that person likes watching movies maybe he likes the Uh, male and female actor which are there in the movie uh, you can figure it out in which language that movie was made so be he is more comfortable in that language when the movie was released so maybe he is liking the movie released in that period so can we do something uh, something more about it and this require a holistic thinking as i said that blue sky thinking is required and for that if one has to change their it systems because in the current it system they are just able to add a touch of personalization and started saying that yeah it's a personalized product but it's not and that they have to understand that what customer really require how you can offer and for that if you have to change the thinking change the it infrastructure or maybe the team which should be able to think in a broad way a inclusive holistic thinking and that need to get done for each customer and of course technology make it very easy and remember let's say for the bank the competition may not come from the another bank it may come from some other social media giant uh, or some other taxi rider or maybe uh, from a uh, any other retail shop who is depositing uh, taking money from the customer so competition can come emerge from anybody who start offering a personalized product to the customer and we have seen numerous example in the past also so it's now it is becoming very important for all companies across the sector across the industry to offer a panoptic personalized product to their customer uh, without that just saying that i am able to offer a personalized product will not work they need to deep dive in really understanding each and every customer and not only some top sector customer and once you deep dive and then with the help of real data collection analytics with cloud computing artificial intelligence you should be able to adapt to the needs of the customer and don't offer a earlier defined structure or model or the segment you may have to change all the structure or adapt to whatever his new things his requirements are so there this adapt part becomes very important and that is the one of the important pillar of panoptic personalization if you want to read more about it you can visit my website www.raktimsingh.com and i hope you like this video thank you